welcome back. Another type of clamping device or mechanism used with fixtures and jigs uh, is wedge clamp. Wedge clamps apply the basic principle of the inclined plane to hold a work in a fixture or a jig. These clamps are normally found in two general forms. So we may have flat wedges or we may have conical wedges. Here is an example of a flat wedge clamp. So we have the part placed in the fixture. Here is the clamp that is of the shape uh, of a flat wedge. So we push this clamp onto the part until it holds the part uh, into position. And then with the help of uh, the screw, we lock the clamp into position. This is the example of a fixture that we have in our lab. So this is the blank that is positioned onto the uh, fixture. So we have to perform a milling operation at this surface of this blank. So after placing the blank uh, into the fixture, we use this, this clamp to, to hold, the, hold the part. You can see that there is an inclined shape on the surface of the clamp that is actually holding the, holding the part into, into position. So once this uh, clamp actually is positioned onto the blank, we lock it using the screw, we perform the machining operation, then we unlock the screw and rotate this clamp uh, in this direction to, to remove the part from the fixture. So this is an example of a flat wedge clamp. Then we have conical wedges or mandrels. They are used for holding the work through already made hole. So we discussed mandrels once we discussed work holding on, on a lathe. Mandrels are available in solid form and expansion form. Solid mandrels are limited and used to one size of hole. For example, we have this part that already has a hole and we push this mandrel through this hole to, to hold the part. Uh, we can further, of course, uh, hold this mandrel on a lathe using uh, centers or lathe dog uh, to perform the machining operation on this part. So these mandrels have a certain taper. So this specific mandrel has a taper approximately 0 0.006 inches per foot. So you can have mandrels available uh, in different sizes to hold uh, the work having uh, holes of different sizes. Expansion mandrels are made to fit a range of sizes. So we have this tapered mandrel that has a certain taper just like this one, but it also has an, expandive, ex an expanding sleeve. So once you push this mandrel into the hole uh, in a work, this uh, uh, sleeve can press down and then press up to hold the part from the, uh, from the hole, from the inside of the hole. 